റീപ്രൊഡക്റ്റീവ് ഹെൽത്ത് അക്കോർഡിംഗ് ടു വേൾഡ് ഹെൽത്ത് ഓർഗനൈസേഷൻ ഡബ്ല്യു എച്ച് ഒ റീപ്രൊഡക്റ്റീവ് ഹെൽത്ത് ഇസ് എ ടോട്ടൽ വെൽ ബീയിങ് ഇൻ ഓൾ ആസ്പെക്ട്സ് ഓഫ് റീപ്രൊഡക്ഷൻ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ഫിസിക്കൽ ഇമോഷണൽ ബിഹേവിയറൽ ആൻഡ് സോഷ്യൽ ഇന്ത്യ ഇനീഷ്യേറ്റഡ് റീപ്രൊഡക്റ്റീവ് ഹെൽത്ത് പ്രോഗ്രാംസ് ഓർ ഫാമിലി പ്ലാനിംഗ് ഇൻ നയൻറ്റീൻ ഫിഫ്റ്റി വൺ വൈഡർ റീപ്രൊഡക്ഷൻ റിലേറ്റഡ് ഏരിയാസ് ആർ ഇൻ ഓപ്പറേഷൻ അണ്ടർ ദി റീപ്രൊഡക്റ്റീവ് ആൻഡ് ചൈൽഡ് ഹെൽത്ത് കെയർ ഓർ ആർ സി എച്ച് പ്രോഗ്രാംസ് സച്ച് പ്രോഗ്രാംസ് ഡീൽ ദി ഫോളോയിങ് first one give awareness about reproduction related aspects for creating a reproductively healthy society second one educate people about birth control care of pregnant mothers postnatal care of mother and child importance of breastfeeding equal opportunities for male and female child etc third one awareness of problems due to population explosion social evils like sex abuse and sex related crimes etc aims and needs of sex education in schools first one to provide right information about sex related aspects it helps to avoid sex related myths and misconceptions second to give proper information about reproductive organs adolescence and related changes safe and hygienic sexual practices sexually transmitted diseases or std aids etc population explosion and birth control in 1900 the world population was around 2 billion that is 2000 million by 2000 it rocketed to about 6 billion in india population was nearly 350 million at the time of independence it crossed 1 billion in may 2000 it means every sixth person in the world is an indian According to the 2001 census report our population growth rate was still around 1.7% that is 17 per 1000 per year a rate at which our population could double in 33 years reasons for population explosion first one increase the health facilities and better living conditions second one rapid decline in death rate maternal mortality rate or mmr and infant mortality rate imr third one increase in number of people in reproducible age impacts of population explosion the major impacts of population explosion is the scarcity of basic requirements such as food shelter and clothing control measures of population explosion first one motivate smaller families by using contraceptive methods 
second one our people about a slogan hum do hamare do or we to ours to many couples have adopted a one child norm third one statutory rising of marriageable age of females to 18 years and males to 21 years properties of an ideal contraceptive an ideal contraceptive must be user friendly easily available effective reversible no or least side effects also it should not interfere with sexual drive desire and sexual act various contraceptive methods first one natural or traditional methods second one barriers third one intra uterine devices or iud's fourth one oral contraceptives fifth one injectables and sixth one surgical methods or sterilization natural or traditional methods here the chances of ovum and sperms meeting are avoided it is mainly three types first one periodic abstinence second one coitus interruptus or withdrawal and third one lactational amenorrhea periodic abstinence avoid coitus from day 10 to 17 of the menstrual cycle that is fertile period to prevent conception coitus interruptus withdraw penis from the vagina just before ejaculation to avoid insemination lactational amenorrhea means the prevention of conception by breastfeeding the child because ovulation and the cycle do not occur during the period of lactation this is effective up to 6 months following parturition it has no side effect but the chances of failure are high second contraceptive method is barriers barriers prevent physical meeting of sperm and ovum example condoms diaphragms cervical caps and walls condoms condoms are made of rubber or latex sheet condoms for male is used to cover the penis whereas condoms for the female is used to cover the vagina and cervix condoms are used just before coitus they prevent the entry of semen into female reproductive tract condoms are very popular because it protects the user from stds and aids easily available it is disposable and it can be self inserted and thereby give privacy to user diaphragm cervical caps and walls are made of rubber and are inserted into the female reproductive tract to cover the cervix during coitus they block the entry of sperms through the cervix 
they are reusable spermicidal creams jellies and foams are used along with these barriers to increase contraceptive efficiency third contraceptive method intra uterine devices or iud's iud's are inserted by doctors or nurses in the uterus through vagina they increase phagocytosis of sperms there are three types of iud's non medicated iud's copper releasing iud's and hormone releasing iud's non medicated iud's retard sperm motility also have spermicidal effect example lipus loop copper releasing iud's copper ion suppress motility and fertilizing capacity of sperms example copper t copper 7 multi load 375 third type of iud's that is hormone releasing iud's they make the uterus unsuitable for implantation and the cervix hostile to the sperms example progestacert lng20 etc iud's are ideal contraceptives for the females who want to delay pregnancy or space children oral contraceptives it is the oral administration of progestogens or progestogen estrogen combinations in the form of tablets or pills pills are taken daily for 21 days starting within the first 5 days of menstrual cycle after a gap of 7 days during which menstruation occurs it has to be repeated in the same pattern till the female desires to prevent conception oral contraceptives inhibit ovulation and implantation and thicken cervical mucus to prevent the entry of sperms pills are very effective with lesser side effects Sahari is a new oral contraceptives for the females. It is developed by Central Drug Research Institute CDRI in Lucknow. It contains a non-steroidal preparation. It is a once a week pill with very few side effects and a high contraceptive value. fifth contraceptive method is injectables here progestogens or progestogens estrogen combinations are used by females as injections or implants under skin their mode of action is similar to that of pills and their effective periods are much longer progestogens or progestogen estrogen combinations and iud's are used as emergency contraceptives within 72 hours of coitus it avoids pregnancy due to rape or casual intercourse sixth contraceptive method surgical methods or sterilization 
it helps to block gamete transport and thereby prevents conception it is very effective but reversibility is poor surgical methods are mainly two types vasectomy and tubectomy vasectomy is a sterilization procedure in males in this a small part of the vas deferens is removed or tied up through a small incision on the scrotum tubectomy is a sterilization procedure in females in this a small part of the fallopian tube is removed or tied up through a small incision in the abdomen or through vagina side effects of anti natural contraceptives nausea abdominal pain breakthrough bleeding or btb irregular menstrual bleeding breast cancer etc